I'm Matt from River Drive Cooperage and Millwork, and today we're going to go over our five-step barrel inspection process. Step three of the barrel inspection process is going to involve our interior barrel inspection, and for this I'm going to use a small light to help me out. But first, I want to look in this barrel with no light, and I'm making sure that I don't see light. If I do, that means there might be a small crack or a separation between the staves and that could be letting outside light in. As long as that's good, I'll use my small light to look inside and make sure I don't see anything weird, no critters, no animals, no mold. This is a bourbon barrel. I'm expecting to see it's charred on the inside. I'm probably going to see flakes of char. I might see pieces of bung. That's normal. I might also see pieces of flagging that is a natural material used to seal the staves. I might also see a puddle of spirit from the spirit that used to be inside it. If I do, that's great. But if I don't, that's not necessarily a bad thing because as long as these bands are tight, we know it's wet, regardless if there's actually a puddle in the barrel or not. If there is a puddle, then that's a good time to make sure the puddle is what it should be. We can test its ABV and even taste test it to make sure it tastes like, in this case, bourbon. 